Hi everyone, my name is Olga. So, the SPOT Ontology Toolkit. First of all, what is SPOT? We are the Samples, Phenotypes and Ontology team from the European Bioinformatics Institute. Feel free to Google us. And we are here today to help you annotate your data with ontologies. So, who here knows what an ontology actually is? Yay! Yay. <laughs> and who actually uses uh, ontologies? Okay, quite a lot. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, ontologies is a, way, a structured way to represent knowledge about a domain. It's a way to represent entities in the domain and uh, relationships between them. So let's say if we're in the disease domain, we have our two entities and we know that pneumonia is a lung disease. Now, why would we want to annotate our data with these entities, with these ontology terms? Well, it helps us integrate our data, it helps us visualize our data, and it empowers our searches. Um, so this is not a trivial task, and that's why we have uh, developed a set of tools to help you do this. And uh, these tools actually help you do this without really knowing uh, that much about ontologies. So I'm going to use an example based on the Open Targets platform. So what Open Targets does is that it pulls in data from nine different data sources, and it tries to find an association between a disease and a target, where a target is a gene or a protein. And what Open Targets does is that it annotates all of this data with the experimental factor ontology. So let's say that I have these four targets from four different data sources, and each target uh, is associated with a disease. Now, you can't really tell by the text, but these are all lung diseases. But if I take it and I index it and then I search for lung disease or for lung, I won't get these targets back. I won't get these results. And this isn't the only information that you lose by not annotating your data to ontology. So let's try and do just that. And the first tool we're going to look at is Zuma. Now, Zuma helps you automatically annotate data to ontology term. It is a database of curated mappings between text and ontology terms. So what you do is that you give Zuma your text and it gives you back uh, an ontology term if it's seen this mapping before. So now Zuma might not always find a mapping or it might give you back a mapping to an ontology that you don't want. And that's where you'll use our second tool, which is OXO, which helps you cross-reference terms from one ontology to another. So OXO is basically a graph uh, that lets you explore um, Cross term cross-referencing from one ontology to another. And it does that in two and three steps. So you can also explore cross-references of cross-references. So you can jump from a term in one ontology to the equivalent term in a different ontology. But let's say that's still not enough and that you want to widen your search and get more information. And that's where you will use the ontology lookup service. So OLS is a repository of over 190 biomedical ontologies, which are updated every night. It's a single point of entry to all of these ontologies. And you can search them, you can search for their terms, their synonyms, their relationships, everything you might need. Uh, and it also uh, tracks the ontology evolution. And again, you might not find uh, an ontology term for your data because it might not exist. And that's where Webulus will step in to help you create a new ontology term to match your data. So Webulus is a guided ontology development tool. It works as a Google spreadsheet add-on, which you populate with the information that you have. And then it takes that information and creates an ontology term, an ontology axiom for you to import um, into the ontology that you want and then use. So let's see what we know by um, now that we've annotated the disease sarcoidosis to this ontology term. We know that it's not only a lung disease, but it's also a respiratory system disease. We know it has synonyms. We know it's disease location. We have all this information. And if we do this with all of our four diseases, we see that they're integrated. There's a common structure. They have the same parents. They have the same disease location. And that's more or less what Open Targets does. And that's why when you look for, when you search for lung disease in Open Targets, you get 14,000 results back, which might not have been so easy to do um, without this. So that's fine for Open Targets, but how can you use this knowledge? How can you use these annotations? So we have another tool called Biosolar, which works for Elasticsearch and Solar. It's a bit misleading. Um, so what it does is that it indexes your data as it normally would, but it also takes the ontology term, it goes to the ontology lookup service and pulls in all that information. And then you can build applications around it, like this example web app, um, and search, for example, by disease location. So these are all of our tools. Um, they're available on GitHub. They all have APIs. Uh, most of them are Dockerized, and you can either use them publicly from their websites or install them and um, use them in-house with your own data and your own ontologies. We also have a poster. It's uh, 150 um, 
And it looks something like this. So if you have any questions, feel free to come and talk to us. Thank you.